So I'm back with another video talking about 2010s and especially early 2010s and uh, the shows that we watched growing up. Today I want to talk about The Vampire Diaries. I just remember that it was a big deal in terms of its impact. A lot of people were watching it. I don't know if a lot of people were watching around you, but around me a lot of people were watching that show and it was really big. I think that I find this show a bit depressing to watch especially to binge, and not because it's actually talking about any serious topics. Sometimes they do, but it's very... their approach is very juvenile. But I did find it incredibly difficult to watch that show and not like get depressed or something like that, just because a lot of the things that I value in life, they kind of replace everything with romance. In any case, I was expecting to hate a lot more fashion choices that were going on and I think that the first few seasons weren't as offensive as the later later seasons. It's not because the fashion was that much better in the early seasons but because the show is so heavily relying on the characters being hot <laughs> I think that in the early seasons they were understanding what flattered the characters and the actors themselves better than what they did in the later seasons and you're gonna kind of see that pattern with all of the characters or at least most of them. So we're gonna start with Elena. It is crazy just how early 2010s her outfits are in the first couple of seasons however i do think that they suit her really well the, the thing is this show is not particularly fashionable i do remember that a lot of people were talking about it and a lot of people were trying to get the look either elena's look or catherine's look most of the time and there are literal how-to articles <laughs> about how to dress like elena basically what she was wearing is what i'm wearing right now every episode there's some kind of tank top underneath a shirt like this. The reason why it had such a big impact or why people were liking this look so much is, yeah, it was popular, but also Nina Dobrev is the reason why. And it's quite a superficial kind of reason. It's just she's got a great figure that worked really well with this type of silhouette. And that's about it, really. It seems like it's very simp simple. You would just go, well, the actress is just hot, right? look at her, right? It's just a simple tank top and it's just a pair of jeans but it looks really great and it looks great because she has a great figure. Like it's true but also I was just thinking about how impossible it is to dress her in a way that wouldn't be flattering but then you remember that seasons five through six and you think oh no, it, it's possible to dress her in a way that's unflattering and to dress her in clothes that really piss you off. It's a very simple look, the look that Elena had in the first few seasons. However, I do think that it suits the character to have straight hair, it suits the character to have it cut in the way that it was cut and styled. I think that the long shirt with the tank top most of the time, it really worked for her. Now, in season 5, we get this shift. She starts to, you know, style her hair differently and whatever. You can argue that it's you know, worse or better or whatever it is. Regardless of what you think about it, the wardrobe definitely went downhill at that point because it was not just basic popular clothing as it's always the case with CW shows, it was also unflattering all of a sudden, which is again very difficult to do when you get a person who is very conventionally attractive it's hard to mess that up most things suit people who are attractive that's when we started to get this stupid ass tank tops that look like a tent i've complained about it in a previous video that i made about pretty little liars this silhouette was very popular in terms of um it being sold everywhere and i remember hating it a lot because it just doesn't look good on anybody and case in point elena started to dress in those tent shirts and they just look terrible on her and also I don't think that they suit her personality very well. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know if, what you think. Let me know if you think that the change in style made any sense because to me it doesn't really make any sense. This shirt for example is not something that I would expect Elena from first few seasons to be wearing. I know that she changed when she became a vampire but it's a very vague change. If you're going to change a lot of things about a character 
in a very drastic way you have to say it with your chest do it with your chest like do it with your whole entire being instead of just you know changing little things like for example the silhouette of a shirt because in this case the silhouette doesn't really suggest anything new it just looks awkward and doesn't flatter the actress and that's about it what is it that you're doing here what are you trying to do you know what i mean i also want to talk about some other iconic looks from elena those ones that people were talking about the most first of all let's talk about this 60s dance look don't quite understand how this outfit is supposed to be 60s i know that the hair maybe or 60s or fif uh, 50s it was either either or in any case this shirt with this belt makes no sense doesn't i'm not saying that she looks terrible or something like that it's just i don't understand why they chose to do a themed dance and then not actually follow a theme even though she kind of is following a theme it would make sense if the character completely disregarded the theme and she wasn't dressed properly because the character decided to do so but in this case i just don't understand what's happening because like she did participate but she just did it in a, such a wrong way i don't get it because the only reason why theme dances happen in shows in general is because they want to dress the cast into era specific clothing in this case i just don't quite understand why they decided to do that not follow through entirely it just makes no sense another look was this dress that everyone was crazy about mostly because it was a very important moment between elena and damon and everyone was crazy about them back then this dress is not bad but once again it's just pretty people are easy to dress and there's nothing special about this dress there's nothing to remember about it if it wouldn't be contextualized with the dilena 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 moment girl i don't know my accent is just not working with this word it wouldn't be that iconic or interesting just on its own it's not it's nothing special right a lot of people were also really into this dress i don't mind it but i don't know why people were so impressed by it i, I really don't get it it does nothing for me i remember this black dress was a huge deal back then i don't like the materials but i do think that they did have a good impact just because again nia dobrev looked really good in it but also the whole idea of having this gold sparkly material under some black material it's a good idea i just don't like the materials that much but it's not a bad dress oh another example of this terrible formless shirts that i hate <laughs> i just i just cannot deal with them just something about them bothers me so much and I feel like they're just so... Even though Elena was supposed to be a very basic kind of girl in terms of what she was wearing, the first few seasons actually made some kind of signature look for her. And this just doesn't make any sense. I genuinely don't get what's going on here. Okay, so let's go to Catherine. Oh, Catherine. I was obsessed with her growing up. She was my favorite. I really liked her backstory. I really liked her in general. found her extremely entertaining to watch. And also, I wanted to get her curls so badly. I tried to curl my hair the way that Catherine's hair was curled so many times and could never get it. And then I found out that it was a wig. So that's why I couldn't get this like full luscious look with my own hair. And I was so baffled that it was a wig because I just, I just couldn't believe it because it looked so good. And I don't know, it just looked really great. I wanted her curls so bad. It's just, she looked so good. All the outfits from the past, from the flashbacks, she looks great. I don't know if the outfits are historically accurate or anything like that i genuinely don't know because i've never paid attention to american fashion especially in the past but a lot of her looks were great it was very entertaining to watch whenever there was a flashback to catherine and the salvador brothers she's just such an entertaining character i guess that even her simple all black looks looked best on her out of the entirety of the cast by the way the amount of goddamn leather jackets in this show What's going yeah on? Uh. Yeah. Uh. We were really obsessed with that, weren't we? I mean, I was. I mean, if you if you weren't like good for you, but I definitely was. I was one of the people who wore tight jeans and a leather jacket. Just so many outfits that were, in my opinion, really well suited to the character. I remember this one was extremely iconic. Not the dress. I actually would say that the con the context of the entire look helped it. It wasn't about the dress itself as much as it was about her hair, her makeup, and her attitude and her 
character in general and I remember that a lot of people were making tutorials on her makeup it was a time when people were just obsessed with Catherine for good reason she's a very good character very entertaining and I think that Nina Dobrev was really good in that role well suited actress for it how can we forget the iconic way that she showed up cut off fingers of this character who turned out to be Elena's father I don't remember his name and I hated him so much his scenes were so boring i would always skip it and especially the ones that were with jeremy don't even star me on those ones they were so annoying it's genuinely impossible to watch so when she showed up and she cut off his fingers i was like yeah yeah i'm kind of into that i think i think i i appreciate that actually bonnie bonnie is this character that you love but you hate the way that the writers were handling her story and you feel like a lot of decisions about her character did not make any sense cat graham she suffered for us because i this show just really i don't know i don't know what their problem is with bonnie but the amount of things the amount of situations that they've put her through is just it just doesn't make any sense and also the fact that she just got the worst romantic storylines ever is just too much the fact that she's such a strong character that makes so many you know decisions and takes care of so many things and then she gets jeremy a goddamn whiny child as a partner uh, i just hate that so much i just don't understand how that happened what's wrong with them and also okay before i moved to north america i did not know what a confession flag looked like. I'm gonna have to probably censor the word. I don't know how this works on YouTube if YouTube's gonna get angry at me for saying it. But now that I know what it looks like, I was shocked to see it in the show and then I realized that they were dressing up as like soldiers. Really? That's the soldiers you wanted to dress up as? Something's off about this show and about their relationship to Bonnie. I don't know. Something makes me so like eh, queasy and I feel like she deserved a lot better and her dynamic with Damon in later seasons was really great and I feel like, I don't know, the, the, the show got so messy after season 4 that I just, if you ever watch it, just don't watch the rest of the episodes, like the rest of the seasons, it's just that bad. Bonnie, in the first season, she had more of a fashion identity, I guess, to compare to her later seasons where they kind of transitioned her into the typical Vampire Diaries look typical Vampire Diaries aesthetic, which is just, you know, a random shirt, a leather jacket, or a jacket that has this waterfall kind of situation going on. I don't really like it, but I don't really hate it. It's kind of just a middle-of-the-road kind of look. I do think that it's an ineffective styling choice. I think that it's quite boring. I think that what they were going for in the first few seasons were kind of a witchy aesthetic that they imagined for themselves. So a lot of accessories that are reminding you of witchcraft mixed with boho-esque shirts, some dresses that are very freely. I would say that I don't really know if it suited the character as much as it just suited her position as the witch. You know, again, I feel like they were just using her as the witch who would just solve all of their problems and I do not feel like she got her own storylines that much but basically you would get cardigans and you would get more feminine clothing but then you would get also a lot of jewelry that wouldn't make a ton of sense but it's the 2010 so statement necklaces were everywhere as we've talked about it before for example in this like at this party everyone got a dress that was cute and flattering and whatever and then bonnie got this i do not i like the flower that was made out of the same material like right here on this dress i hate it i just don't i just don't understand she deserved better this this could have been and should have been better she's one of the main characters i don't understand why they weren't giving her what she deserved you know this dress was cute one of the subscribers sent it to me when i asked about it on um, instagram and i do agree that this is a like it's a it's a cute dress for just like a random scene in the show you know so this is again you you see that they're wearing those jackets that have little flaps or waterfall situation going on it's just like okay fine most of the characters suffered from styling being very basic but whenever it was at least flattering i would let it go just because in this show it's not like they're it's not like they're fashion icons okay so let's talk about salvatore brothers i really liked whenever there were looks from the past except for the looks that were the soldier looks this outfits for example i really enjoyed them but it's mostly because i don't know they look good in them it's not that special it's nothing special but it is fine most of the stuff that they did wear was kind of like this in present times which is extremely boring but it's okay 
it's flattering in terms of at least not looking, not making them look terrible. It's not fashionable in it by any means, but it's fine. It's the leather jackets, leather jackets everywhere, shirts that are open way too much, which is of course pretty normal for a SW show that is banking on the hotness of their actors. Shirts like this, it's inoffensive. Let's talk about Caroline. So Caroline, the actress got a lot of unflattering looks as well. However, I think that they were trying more with her and they were trying to give her better looks as the show went on because she became one of the fan favorites from the beginning where in the first season she was kind of like an annoying side character she became a really important part of the cast which i think is also really great she is at least interesting to watch but she got looks like this that were really boring i wish she would have more of a fashion identity she doesn't really have a preference for anything i think that she was also just dressed in random popular things that did not make any sense they weren't grounded by anything she also got a lot of unflattering shirts like tent shirts she started to get better gowns better dresses better everything further into the show like in the middle i think that the middle part was her kind of heyday you know caroline never got an iconic type of look that she was sticking to she got a lot more dresses she was a lot more feminine in the first few seasons jeremy this is the only look i have for him he dressed more like a an angsty teenager in the first season but then he just got very basic shit for the rest of the seasons shirts like these which i don't think i have to explain to you why this is terrible but it does fit the character in terms of the character also being extremely annoying and terrible so i guess that that makes sense also okay let's talk about poster season one i think that was a really good poster i remember seeing it in a magazine where people were talking about how oh there's gonna be a new show it's going to be about vampires and i remember thinking mm, another one isn't there like a twilight and um i remember being very spe skeptical about it being actually successful because i thought that since Twilight just happened, thought that maybe the Vampire Diaries are not gonna have a good time and not gonna actually get a big audience. So I remember this specific poster being used to talk about this show coming. I think that they did really well on the season one posters. The actors look great, the lighting is really good. I don't understand why they had to photoshop Elena's necklace into this picture. I really... I, don't quite get it but basically you kind of get the idea what the show is going to be like by looking at these images definitely a thirst trap of a show accurate advertisement that was season two i still i like that they were still going for this odd angle aesthetic i think that it's a good idea uh their poster for season two was pretty good too i don't understand why i mean it looks like she's standing up um i think that she is standing up the way that they shot it so i wish that they did like a better job at making it look like she's lying down especially with the feet i think that the feet are kind of giving it away a little bit another poster that was for season two was this one i remember everyone talking about it so it did its job it's literally just like a third strap over show and they were advertising it i think that season three the poster itself is fine i think that what i liked about this photo shoot was the the fruits with blood kind of whole aesthetic going on it just it looked good it was a pretty good promotional poster as well as i thought that it was a great idea to have teaser posters of characters with different fruits and i liked most of them like for example uh this too and i thought it was it looked a little bit ridiculous this bloody pear <laughs> It's kind of funny to me i don't know i wish they used a different fruit than pear i don't think that the shape of it <laughs> was working for this season four this poster is so massive i don't even know how i'm gonna show this i think the outfits are not bad especially elena's i like her outfit i like the water however i don't think that it's conceptually as strong as the other ones because it's kind of very typical looking for a supernatural type of show the individual posters four characters those ones were a vibe i think this is really interesting i don't know i think that they're kind of uh, referencing religious icons posters themselves were well done season five it's also this massive image of all of them here and you get two nina dobrovs in this image because i think that one of them is supposed to be elena and the other one's supposed to be catherine it does look like a thirst drop of a show again which is once again accurate but 
I do not really like this poster, mostly because, I mean, I don't, I'm not gonna say that it's not doing its job, but it is doing what it's supposed to do. I do find this main outfit to be a little bit strange, because it's just completely, it doesn't have a top. I don't know if it's, yeah, I think that it just doesn't have a top, and I don't know if I like that. I don't know if it works for this outfit. I'm not entirely sure. Let me know what you feel like about this poster. I feel like it's not bad, but it's not good. It's just kind of meh. The individual character posters, the photos are not bad, but the concept is quite basic. You just have this fabric that's kind of wrapping around them. The actors are kind of selling this photo shoot, but it's not great either, you know? It's just kind of like, okay. Season six, it doesn't look bad. Um, the actors look good in it, but at the same time, it looks like a generic type of show, which I mean, it is kind of generic, but usually they were doing a little bit of a better job at um, creating really unique aesthetics for their previous posters. I feel like this one uh, just looks like any Supernatural-esque show or any show that has a creepy town or something like that. It's just not giving it. Season 7, which is, I mean, fair enough. I mean, it's, it's a good photo. I don't particularly feel any way about it though. Oh, sorry, that was season 8. So the poster for season 7 was just this. It looks like a Supernatural poster. That show that was literally named um, Supernatural. It had like 12 seasons or something like that. I've never watched that show, but just for some reason, it just makes me feel like that's the poster that they would have. So I don't know, it's not really good, it's just meh. In any case, this is what I think about the fashion in the Vampire Diaries. It was just leather jackets and shirts until they were tent shirts that were really unflattering. So it was very basic, let's say that way. There wasn't much to complain about as with Pretty Little Liars. I thought there was gonna be a lot more to complain about, to be honest. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon with more stuff. Let me know what you wanna see next if you have any requests. Bye.